Hi, welcome to Rising Vibration. This reading is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising Meaning. You want your Libra back. You want your Sun, Moon, Rising, Libra back. And you would like to figure out how to reconcile the relationship or how to build a bridge back to the Libra and build back up your relationship. This is assuming that it was not a highly acrimonious split and that you did not reach the point of no return. And if you reach the point of no return, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It should be that you can still talk to each other eye to eye and no one has been damaged and everyone's ego is still intact. You haven't reached the point of no return. Then. So you can watch the video. We are going to look at how the Libra, your former Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign is currently feeling. We are going to look at what they want. We are going to look at if they have been able to move on. And finally, we are going to look at some strategies you can try to employ to reconcile the relationship. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising between now and the middle of April 2018. You guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Just hit the like button. Boop. Or subscribe if you like the video and if you want to see me again so how is the Libra feeling they're not happy about the split now that's hard because I haven't had this with any other reading but I get that even if you split with the Libra some time ago their idea about things are very different than what they were then. And even if the Libra has been in a relationship with someone else, they're feeling quite a bit of regret about how they behaved in the past. It doesn't necessarily mean with you, but they're not happy with their behavior. And could also be that they're not happy with the behavior of the other person, but it seems that they're, I'm, I'm seeing regret. We also have the nine of swords. So it feels like regret, um, regret, regret. They rely too much on someone else and they rely too much on someone else's word. I don't know why that's coming across in this reading. I haven't had this uh, take on any other sign so far. So let's see what else is happening. What does the Libra want? Oh, two, let's keep them out. We have the Six of Cups and we have the Ten of Pentacles. We have two fives, we have three fives in a row. We have the Five of Swords, we have the Five of Wands, and we have the Five of Cups. So guys, again, this is different than the other readings because this is this is feeling to me like we're reading for the Libra who has moved on into another partnership or relationship. Initially, they thought that this was going to go quite well and they may have had some moments of happiness, but... Um, perhaps they have been betrayed, especially if you had a Libra who cheated on you and you split up because of cheating or you split up because of infidelity, that um, it seems like they are experiencing the same thing now. They're getting it back. Let me see if we can pull this to not that specific situation for those of you who just want to know how your former Libra partner is feeling and you did not split because of cheating or infidelity. Wow, there's a lot going on with Libra right now in terms of their emotion. We're going to get that in a minute. We have the Major Arcana Temperance. We have the Queen of Pentacles, and we also have the Three of Pentacles. Guys, whatever the situation is with your Libra, we have the Five of Pentacles. They want to talk, and they have wanted to talk for a long time. And I feel like I have to say, this is even for those of you who have split with a Libra some time ago, they want to 
talk about what happened. And they almost feel a bit stuck, like they, they can't. They feel very limited in their ability to move on without this conversation. Especially if they did you wrong when you split. Especially if they, if they did you wrong. It's getting to them. Guilt after guilt and regret. And um, perhaps even in some respects some karma coming back to them. And they feel like they're getting their comeuppance as well. I keep wanting to pull this back to a more basic situation. But I'm just telling you what's coming through in the cards. So let's see if they have been able to move on. This is for Libras who did not cheat. You just split for other reasons. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have, again, the Three of Pentacles. They really want to talk. And we have the Ace of Wands. Uh tell you what I'm getting they if you were especially involved with a Libra who left and you may have had the impression they left for someone else it may have been the case but now they're regretting it they can see the error of their ways in a lot of respect especially if the split was sexually driven or because of their attraction to someone else and a big part of it has to do with them feeling like uh, they do not like the integrity of what they did. So they're second guessing their own integrity and they do not like how this feels or it's being done back to them. The law of reciprocity, they're getting it back and they feel like they have to make amends in order to survive in order to get on with their life in a positive way and have good luck and good fortune and blessings this is what i have coming across guys and i'm not trying to judge anyone i'm just telling you what i see so what can you do if you want to reconcile with your libra is it possible what can you do i would like to see this it's a different reading than the other readings this one feels different We have the Empress, something like the Empress. It's a little bit different because this is the Karma, the karma deck symbol on. This is Leo Taurus energy. We have the card of affliction. And we have this fellow here two times, uh, Hermes here two times. Yeah. I think the best way right now if you are dealing with a former leo sun moon libra libra guys libra sun moon rising who you would like to try to build a bridge back to it's like you guys have to really talk things out and air things out get things out in the open in order for both of you to have the ability to move on you will have to get everything out in the open now it doesn't mean that they're going to tell you everything about what happened in the past it's more just like both of you saying that you're sorry, and you're sorry about how things worked out. You're sorry about not being able to build up that life together. You're sorry about things not uh, lasting, working out, you know. Nobody has to really take a blame or be blamed. It's just more about uh, regret expressing that regret and more regret i'm sorry about how things turned out this is not what i wanted and i feel like that's what the libra, libra that's what's coming across that the libra wants to say i have to give it to you guys how it comes and i'm that's very unusual i do not typically do that in these type of readings but the libra elemental sign wants to say that they're sorry for what they did they're sorry for how they behaved so that's what I have for you who want to reconcile with your Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising between now and April 2018. I hope it brings you some comfort. I'll see you guys next month. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.